Hello, NavAir teammates. This is an update on COVID-19. We find ourselves in extraordinary times, and I first want to let you know that your health and well-being is our number one priority. From the vantage point of NavAir headquarters, there is a different dynamic in our organization. As I look out the window of the Moffett Building, there are maybe a dozen cars along the street, no vehicles visible on the upper decks of the parking garage. Nevertheless, we continue to execute our mission. Test squadrons are completing important developmental test events to qualify new equipment and software. The fleet readiness centers are producing vital components and moving aircraft through their heavy depot lines. Work continues on transformational IT solutions that will enable data-driven maintenance changes and better forecasting. Just yesterday on USS Ford, 51 traps were accomplished during the first day of flight deck certification. And here at headquarters, procurement efforts continue that will result in needed capabilities and services being delivered to the fleet. All of these efforts are important because the fleet is still on station around the globe, protecting the interests of the United States and her allies. In other words, the Navy and Marine Corps global mission has not diminished, requiring us to find new ways to accomplish our support mission and do it while keeping our workforce safe. As with most really difficult problems, I've asked the NAVAIR Deputy Commander, Mr. Gary Newton, to take the lead on coordination across the command and to be the single point of contact that communicates with our workforce. Thank you, Vice Admiral Peters. We're taking aggressive steps to address this unprecedented situation. We're moving quickly to reduce the spread of the virus while ensuring that we get our jobs done in the long term. We've greatly restricted travel and eliminated mass gatherings. Military members are restricted to local leave and we're encouraging all employees to take immediate steps to prevent the exposure. We've instituted maximum telework, which is going reasonably well. Our digital group continues to add collaboration tools and additional audio lines so that we can work remotely. For employees who must work on site, we're adhering carefully to CDC recommendations. This includes social distancing and hygiene protocol. We've split the shifts in our industrial lab and range operations and eliminated the overlap between the shifts. We're also using a portion of each shift to deep clean our spaces and equipment. We've closed common areas and we're keeping doors open where security allows. We are learning and adapting every day. I appreciate your patience and understanding. We're doing everything we can to protect you while we continue our mission in support of our sailors and Marines. I want to let you know that the best part of my job is getting around to our many NAVAIR sites to visit our workforce. Regrettably, I won't be able to do that for the foreseeable future. But having said that, the most rewarding part of my job as your commander is watching what our workforce can deliver through hard work and innovation. And that has not changed. COVID-19 has changed the way we do our business, but our commitment to our four deployed sailors and Marines is stronger than ever we will continue to execute our mission. In partnership with the PEOs, Warfare Center Commanders, and Commander Fleet Readiness Centers, we will continue to monitor this rapidly evolving situation and adjust our focus areas and strategies accordingly. We are grateful to you and your families for your patience and commitment during this intensely difficult time. Please take care of your families and each other. We are in uncharted waters and we stand ready to provide support and to assist you. Thank you for all you do to keep our nation safe and to keep our sailors and Marines equipped to defend her.